Um, I was stunned when I read a, a shout out to Lee Winthy and me. Um, <laughs> Justin claims we were nice to him uh, <laughs> when he was a student. A anyone who knows me and perhaps knows Lee um, might wonder how truthful that is. Uh, but it was very easy being nice to Justin uh, because he really was a superstar and still is. Um, but he was a superstar as, a, 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 as an undergrad. He was really one of those intuitive people that just got it. He was a born admin, if you will. Um, I found an old resume of Justin's and was amused by his description of his experience at USC. It reads, I was an ad dork, member of the student competition team, officer in the student ad club, created this newspaper thing for the ad club, won a bunch of student awards. Uh, and that kind of, says, yeah, when you hear from Justin, um, you'll get his sense of humor. Um, I nominated Justin when he was a senior for the nation's most prestigious advertising uh, internship program when he was a senior. And um, normally I spend weeks and weeks with students tweaking their um, resumes and their essays and so on. And with Justin, he did it in about an hour. And it was so incredible. It was so smart, so on strategy, so creative, that I said, let's just find an envelope and stick it in <laughs> and mail it. And um, he won. And not only did he win, but um, those of you in the advertising industry know the legend of um, Luke Sullivan, just the, one of the top people in the field. And Justin got to work with Luke Sullivan, which is really incredible. And ever since then, he's been working and playing in the big leads. Now for Justin. <laughs> I'm incredibly honored and grateful to receive uh, this award. Perhaps now I will be left alone by those quasi-telemarketers who call me every month asking me for me to, to no donate to the Alumni Association. <laughs> I don't know if any of those people are in the room right now. But seriously, it feels amazing to be up here. I, I never would have thought I'd go from being called a moron in uh, Professor Drunianni's Journalism 458 class to being named an outstanding young alum. It's quite a leap in my estimation. Um, now the reason I'm up here today is because of, of Bonnie Drunianni and uh, Professor Lee Wenthe, um, who I think is trapped on Edisto Island. Um, both of them have looked past and over my sh short stature and saw something in me. I'm not talking medically, I'm talking educationally. Um, it was Professor uh, Wenthe who picked me to join the student ad team when I was just a wee little junior. Actually, I was the same height. Um, <laughs> it was an enriching experience uh, making my first advertising campaign. I hope you never see that, um, but it was really fun to work on. Um, back then. Um, and from there, uh, Professor Giuliani sort of took the baton, I couldn't think of a better metaphor, uh, from Professor Wenthe and nominated to me, as she mentioned, to the Vance Stickle internship. Um, this was really great. I got to intern at uh, GSDNM in Austin, Texas. Don't ask me what those letters stand for. Um, it was here I got the unique pleasure of being mentored, as she said, by award-winning copywriter and advertising legend Luke Sullivan, who, who literally wrote the book on advertising. And thanks to, to Bonnie, she strongly urged me to read that book before I met him, which I had no knowledge of. Um, although I was an ad dork, I, I only knew about things from the 70s. Um, and uh, I, 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 I read the book, and I met him. And I had him sign that book. And yes, he gave me a, a hug when I was you know, done um, interning for him. And, and yes, I sliced part of my finger off in the X-Acto blade as well. Not at the same time. <laughs> well, after that scar healed and uh, my action-packed junior year ended, I, I began my senior year. Um, and Bonnie again looked after me, uh, making sure I was part of the Student Ad Federation, which um, was cooler than it sounds. Um, and, and she invited me to dinner with uh, Norm Gray, who is one of the founders and a teacher at um, an advertising graduate school known as the Creative Circus, which you can get your laughs out now, but it's, it's one of the best portfolio programs in, in the, the world. Um, 
And because of this and, and because of Luke's uh, advice back at GSCNM, I decided to attend the Creative Circus, which pretty much acceler accelerated me on the course that um, led me today, or tonight. A course set forth by, by Bonnie Giuliani, which I think some clapping would be appropriate right now for her. <laughs> I'm motivated by negative comments. <laughs> Not really. Um, so every year I try to make it back to Columbia to visit Bonnie and Karen um, and whoever else is in the Coliseum that day uh, and see how my old lack of proper ventilation stomping grounds are doing. Um, I end up getting to meet some esteemed faculty and staff, like Dean Charles Bierbauer. Um, I sometimes get to teach a class, like I'm doing tomorrow, and I have no idea what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just read this again. Um, <laughs> and usually I find myself sitting in Bonnie's uh, uh, office staring at the weird toys and tchotchkes from, uh, you know, America's bygone mascots and advertising, you know, questioning my existence. Um, it's something I always enjoy, it's something I always look forward to, and I love being a, a USC advertising grad, and I'm th so thankful for uh, not only the guidance and support from um, Professor Giuliani and Lee Wenthe, but also from the other uh, professors like Professor Sisk, Dr. Wardrip, may you rest in peace, uh, Professor Cornegay. And I didn't have Karen, but uh, we've you know, struck up a friendship too. Um, and Scott Farron actually took uh, Journalism 364. It was a morning class. I was very tired in that class. <laughs> but uh, I learned a lot about Quark, which is obsolete now. But it was... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I learned about pikas. I don't need to know about that now. But I learned about pikas, and I'm, I, I know how to use InDesign. Um, I also want to thank my beautiful wife who's here with me tonight, Becky, um, who's put up with this wry sense of humor and these good looks for so long. Um, and and uh, my daughter's not here, Lydia, who would be a disaster. She'd be like Slimer from Ghostbusters, just <laughs> ripping through here. Um, but thanks again for this award, and, and sorry for being a chatty Kathy tonight, but I'm, I'm blown away. Thanks, guys.